It is that time of year when our thoughts turn to love. But I have to say that I'm somewhat relieved that lockdown has put a stop to any budding romances for the time being. You see, leading up to Christmas, I thought it'd be a good idea to help pair up like-minded people and create a little positive something in their hearts that they could hold on to when we finally emerge from this pandemic. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, love doesn't come without a lot of, a lot of challenges, if you know what I mean. First up, I thought I'd try a real, when Harry met Sally. Well, he was from Wigan, and she was from St Helens. But try as I might, they turned out to be in different tiers, and that was the end of that. No conversion. I decided then to turn my attention solely to Greater Manchester. I mean, they really need a little love, as they'd be getting such a hard time from the government after being kept in the highest tier. After I paired up lots of people and arranged for them to meet at Heaton Park to get to know each other, whilst observing the socially distanced rules, of course, what could possibly go wrong? Well, let me tell you, even though I gave everyone a specific time slot, do you think they followed my instructions? No, they all thought they knew better. Oh, it was like speed days gone ice when everyone pitched up at the same time. And you can forget about social distancing. What? With all the cautions and arrests, it was really no surprise the police had no other time to deal with any other crimes. After that, I thought a better place safe was the lower tier area. What could be safer than Liverpool? I mean, even the government loved their mayor. Well, until he... No, let's not go there. Well, with sport being their thing, I thought, what could be more perfect than pairing up two football fans? But as it turned out, it was a complete no-no to, as I discovered that the problems between Reds and Blues weren't just restricted to Manchester. Apparently in Liverpool, the team called Liverpool actually play in Everton. And the people who support them don't like the people who support the team that used to play on their grounds, but now play around the corner and are called Everton. You really couldn't make that up, could you? Because what a mouthful. It's like chewing toffee. What? No way! So you can imagine my relief when the whole country was finally put into a lockdown and I could take a well-deserved rest from my matchmaking endeavours. But now, just like Eros, the vaccine is proving to be such a good shot in the arm that I've decided to focus my attention to the Blue Rinse Brigade. Well, after they get their second round of injections in spring, of course. And to see whether I can bring a little romance to those in their twilight years. Hopefully it'll be less of a saga.